travel to Chile two times a year by end of the winter season and end of the summer season to better understand the glacier mass balance conditions on seasonal scale but also on annual scale. So somehow the glaciers are connected to the salmon which is you know one of the fundamental things in the Alaska economy. As summer arctic ice is shrinking the females and calves have the option to either stay on the floating ice, but be very far away from where they can feed. Not only we achieve basically 100% renewable energy, we've achieved a constant cost over this period of time as well. You're right back here, right? Yeah. Right here. Okay. Good to see you again. Well, my name is Todd Anders Johnson, out here on the McCall Glacier in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Hiked in for three days, joining Dr. Matt Nolan on his annual fall research here on the Macaulay. Basically we create a statistical map of likely occurring meteorological patterns. The impact of climate change on ecology is stronger going through glaciers as an intermediary than directly climate change on the, those ecosystems themselves. Somehow I think politically it is more effective to concentrate the discussion on people and eyes rather than to talk about climate change. In Iceland, we monitor the mass balance of the glaciers in a program that is carried out by several institutes and societies. We sometimes say here at the Hellisheid power plant that's our oil, cheap, clean and drinkable. Esto está repercutiendo en, en el tema de la disponibilidad hídrica en la cuenca. Bueno, nos encontramos ahora mismo en lo que es la Laguna Palcacocha, una laguna en la que alimenta de agua a la ciudad de Huaraz. Cauces que antes estaban completamente limpios, se vienen contaminando de forma natural con estos metales que antes cité. The risk of glacial lake outburst floods has increased significantly, especially in recent decades with climate change. Most of the warming that we are witnessing now is caused by the release of CO2 and other pollutants.